It is 1931. Edmund is 11. On the train to school, he often reads adventure stories and books about explorers. In the future, I want to be an explorer. As a young man, Edmund climbs cliffs, mountains and volcanoes in New Zealand. He sometimes climbs with friends, but he often climbs alone. It is 1953. Edmund is 33. He goes to Nepal to climb Mount Everest, the highest mountain in the world. In the expedition to climb Mount Everest, there are 11 climbers, a journalist, a photographer, a doctor, and 350 porters to carry all the food and equipment. Edmund talks to Tenzing Norgay, a climber from Nepal. Hello, Tenzing. It's good to see you again, Edmund. The climbers begin their ascent. Edmund climbs with Tenzing. A rope connects them. It's extremely cold and very windy. During the expedition, Edmund falls through a crack in the ice. Tenzing reacts quickly and saves Edmund's life. Don't worry. You're safe. Thank you, my friend. The climbers climb for six long weeks. At 7,900 meters, the temperature is extremely cold. The oxygen is thin. Some of the climbers can't feel their feet. Some of them feel sick. We can't reach the top. We cannot continue. Tenzing, we can reach the top. I know we can do it! At 8,800 meters, Edmund and Tenzing are alone. They haven't got much oxygen. And the last 50 meters are the most dangerous. On the 29th of May, at 11.30 a.m., Edmund and Tenzing are the first climbers in history to reach the top of Mount Everest. They are at 8,850 meters. They stand there for 15 minutes and look at the view. Edmund takes photos. We did it, my friend. We did it. It is one of the most important moments in the history of climbing. <laughs>